Beach. Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And JJ, and this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Slide out onto Clark Field and check out how torn up this field is. Let's get into the muck. After the rain, they also played a JV game on this field earlier in the day. So we know it's going to be a messy one with the visiting St. Monica Mariners. That's what a football field's supposed to look like, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is in October, at least, under the lights here at Clark. And we know who stars under those lights. Latrell Flowers starting things off their best offensive weapon. The guy they want to get a lot of touches to. He was not our September athlete o de month, and uh, he's a mutter, Mike. His mutter was a mutter. That's right. He did get that AOT month for a reason, and uh, big plays from him all game long, but offense kind of stalled out after those big plays. A sack here. Defense playing stout all game, but uh, need a field goal, JJ? I'll order it from Saldivar. <laughs> big play from Saldivar, the kicker for the Mariners. He puts them up 3-0 on a 30-yard field goal. Uno, dos, trace. You just got to give it back to 20. Just well, in any possible way, punt returner, give it to the Flowers. Kick returner, running back, quarterback, wide receiver, anything they need him to do. Huge punt return right here sets him up, but offense stalls again on the next play. An interception from quarterback Jake Hooper gives the ball back to the Mariners. In other words, it, it, everything was just kind of stuck in the mud in the first half. Very sloppy first half from both teams. We go to the second half with the Mariners holding a 3 0 lead. Keep that band off the field. you got to keep that thing as, uh, as clean as possible. That's why, that's why they're marching down the sidelines. The defense to open the third quarter yields really the only drive they gave up that ends on this rugby play as they shove the quarterback into the end zone. That's called a scoop and scrum, not a <laughs> scoop and score. They did. They dialed up the student body forward and get the touchdown to go up 10-0, but fire flower power. Don't regard that scoreboard as all that important because 12 seconds later, number 20 changes everything. A huge return. Well, the, the lights are on. He's got to go home, you know? That's right. Get so, back to the house. Punishing in pink, Latrell Flowers pulls him within three again. He's taking a beating. It's becoming obvious throughout this game that he is hurt, but the defense continuing to make big plays. He's on Taylor with a huge sack right there. The secondaries in both in this game, but for both teams, really, really good because you could see the, the guys getting back into the backfield. Definitely, and another field goal from Saldivar, who was excellent on the night. He puts them up 13-7 with under eight minutes left. St. Anthony still looking for a spark on offense. Flowers' ankle is obviously giving him so much pain. He keeps playing through it, but you see, after almost every play, he's struggling to even stand up. Flowers can't run it. But he can do something else. I mean, he can do anything as far as I'm concerned. Now he heaves it for Jalen Watson. The sophomore makes an incredible catch right there. The extra point is blocked, which means with just a couple minutes left, we are tied at 13. All they do is play close games at Clark Field. And the D, all they do is make plays. Well, none bigger than this one. Kevin Holabowski for the Mariners. Looks like he's headed for the game-winning touchdown, but Corey Rideau gets him from behind and pops that ball out. Flowers, Johnny on the spot, able to fall on top of it. Oh, my gosh. Rideau has a flair for the dramatic. He caught that touchdown from Jay Cooper that gave them, gave them that win against St. Mary's Star, and then he makes that play to send us to overtime. Unbelievable. We do go to overtime. No one scores in the first overtime period. In the second, Flowers running on one stick, picks up 10 yards, finally knocked out of the game. You see, I mean, this kid seriously can't even walk off the field, and he's out there picking up 10 yards to set up this. Edwin Vasquez says, time to be a hero, 33 yards for the go-ahead shot. Now you just need your defense to step up and make the stop that they've been doing all game. They do get one stop here, and then maybe play of the game from Javen Lopez. Well, because if he goes into the end zone, St. Monica wins. Big time tackle right there, and then a big time sack. Look at it. JJ mentioned the secondary was excellent. No one open, and Russell Williams gets that coverage sack. That's lockdown, baby. Those and big X's. More importantly, it moves that place back for the kick, and this one goes wide left. St. Anthony wins an unbelievable game. Did I say all they do at Clark Field is play close games? Well, all they do at Clark Field is celebrate if you're wearing purple. If you're looking for the most bang for your buck for a football ticket in Long Beach, St. Anthony has had two unbelievable thrillers on this field. One they won on a Hail Mary that J.J. mentioned from Corey Rideau. This one will have them singing the alma mater in their dreams tonight as they win in double overtime. This video brought to you in part by McCarty's Jewelry here for you since 1932. These Saints are now 1-1 one one in the Santa Fe League and they've got the play playoffs square in their sights. 
for all that St. Anthony coverage, you know where to keep it right here, gazettesports.com.